Now switching gears a little bit now, one of the greatest Bears players of all time is finally heading to the Hall of Fame this year. It's a big contributor to the 85 Bears defense, Steve Mongo McMichael. Mongo's wife, Misty McMichael, joins us with more on what this means to her and the Mongo tribe. Good morning to you. <laughs> Good morning, guys. You have had a great last few months here. Uh, we're just a few days away now from this long-awaited moment, the Hall of Fame ceremony. Just get us up to date with how you're feeling and the emotional ride of getting here. Um, you know what? It's great. Uh, McCatterine, I need help with this. Um, no, it's great. We're, we're so excited. You know, it's been a long time. The lighting was horrible, girl. Um, yeah, the... the um, we're just uh, tonight's the Hall of Fame game with the Bears, the Bears and the Texans. So we're excited to see that. And Saturday morning, I'll be flying in on a private jet with Jim Porter, Richard Dent, Jimbo Covert, and Jim McMahon. And we're going to present Steve with his bust and his jacket at the house. And then we'll fly back here. And on Sunday, I will place his bust in the hall. It's a new thing they're doing on Sunday. So, yeah, we're just excited to, um, for him to finally see it. He's still here with us, and he knows what's going on. So, um, yeah, we can't, we can't wait for Saturday morning. That's going to be the highlight of the, these four days. What do you think is, is going to be like to be able to share that moment with uh, some of Steve's former teammates? Oh, that's the best part. The Bears' brotherly love. We're going to have half of the guys at the house with him, like Gary Fensick and Jim Osborne and Bruce Heron, Jim Morrissey, Tommy Thayer, Jay Hogenberg. They'll all be at the house with Steve, and then I'll have the Hall of Famers. I'll have Richard and Jimbo and Mike Singletary and uh, Dan Hampton and Otis Wilson. We'll all be here celebrating. So his whole team will be either there or here, but both places just for him. Talk about so. how it's been uh, getting the support and the love from uh, the fans this all this time really rooting on this moment that's now finally come. Yes, well, you know, they wanted Steve to give a big Mongo speech, which is um, physically impossible these days, but he did he did say two sentences, and I hope that I get to repeat them, and that is, hello, Chicago, thank you, Chicago. We know without the Chicago Bear fans and without all the fans in the world, actually, but Chicago, most importantly, we wouldn't be here. So, yes, we totally love our Bears fans and our Chicago fans. They're the best. And what do you feel like it's going to be like getting a chance to be in front of that big crowd out there in Kenton later, uh, later this week? Crowds don't bother me. You know, I love it. It's fine. You know, Steve, Steve's used to it. I'm used to it. So it's not a problem. I'm the more the merrier. We're happy to have as many people we can supporting on both sides in Ohio and in Chicago. And um, I'm thrilled. Well, we appreciate you taking time to chat with us. We are so happy for you, for Mongo, for your whole family, and still rooting for you all. Uh, we know that there's still an uphill battle ahead for you. Yeah, yeah, we can't win this fight, but we are going to fight till the till the death, literally. He has he's already exceeded the doctor's predictions of two to five years. So yeah. he's a tough guy, and we're just going to fight. He wants to live, so we're going to keep him alive as long as possible. He's a fighter. Spider, you guys are yeah. always in our prayers, for sure. Thank you, guys. Take care. Appreciate your time, man. Have fun this weekend. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs>